Hello everybody, it's Amanda here from scrimpingmummy.co.uk Thanks for joining me today And today we're going to get all glowy and messy I'm going to use these beautiful foiled snowflakes um, And I'm going to make some beautiful toppers For, uh, on top of if you've made your boxes, for your parcels, Christmas presents You can put them on paper bags, you can put them on any kind of packaging They're awesome um, I think I'm going to use the silver colour so I'll just move that to one side and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to punch a one and a half inch circle, in fact two with my one and a half inch circle punch and I'm just using anything, it's just a bit of scrap card look that I've already stamped on and um, I'm using hot glue today for quickness and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly add some glue to that uh, to give my embellishment because that's basically what we're making I'm just going to give it a base and then if you wanted to put a double sided sticky pad on there to attach it to whatever you want to embellish then it's nice and safe now what we're also going to do is I'm just going to stick one in the centre of there as well so that we've got a base to put our decoration um, there's loads of ways you can decorate things make your own embellishments um, I'm going to try and do a few between now and Christmas for you to just pretty up your parcels for not a right lot of money so what I'm going to do here is I'm bringing in the lovely I've already chopped them up <laughs> the little white doilies that you can get. They're very very inexpensive, they're only just over a couple of pounds I think and you get quite a few and um, you've got to peel them. That's the only downfall is sometimes you've got to peel them to make sure you've only got one so you haven't got two or three stuck together but they're so delicate and so pretty and um, I'm going to make a little flower out of this just the same way as I have for years and years made lace flowers and I've done, so, I've done similar before so all you do is fold it and fold it and you're making a little cone shape um, I know some ladies have said they find it difficult to do cones all you're doing basically is you're folding it in a quarter and, and then that quarter on top of that quarter that's it that's all you do to make a cone it's not difficult and then you can poof out the shape later don't really matter about the shape here I'm just going to add some some glue on there and I'm going to start quite far over because I do want, um, in fact that's just, um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove that actually, I'm just going to change my plan slightly and I'm just going to cut that tip off because that is just a tiny little bit too big for this um, foiled snowflake because I want to be able to see the snowflake behind, that's better. So I'll just adjust it slightly. Um, I don't have a sample <laughs> It's uh, one of those Amanda Land videos where I've just switched the camera on with a bit of an idea And um, I just go with it um, I mean I've made these, been making these for years, this type of thing for years with lace So it stands to reason you can do it with paper And all you do is you go Oh look that looks like an angel <laughs> Terrible and concentrate on what you're doing Amanda um, and all you do is just go around until you know you've filled out your Filled out your Shape as it were and you can have as many layers or as little layers as you want I suppose and just slightly overlap them Like so Definitely an angel there somewhere <laughs> Somebody go and take the idea and make an angel <laughs> Definitely one there somewhere Angel wings with these foiled There's loads you can do with them um, You know, have a, have a play See what you can come up with I'm going to go in there Get that one on there before my glue dries Okay, and then I'm going to go around again and um, maybe cut them a little, even a little bit smaller and roll them a little bit tighter this time. Okay. 
just be careful if you do use hot glue. Um, I've got like so used to it over years, it doesn't hardly touch my skin. And then you stagger them so you go across the lines on top of where you've already been. <laughs> if you know what I mean. So you've got one there, one there, one there and one there. So you've got them at 12, quarter past, half past and quarter two. So when you do your next layer, overlap them. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> and eventually you'll get a lovely poofer effect. Just move it up. Just wrap it. Snip it. Bit of glue. Turn it around, add some more, turn it around, I'll do one more, I've got angels in my head now, <laughs> I had time to go make an angel, <laughs> I might have to go make one now, it's in my, it's in my brain, okay, so we're just layering them over like so okay and then you can fluff it up and what I'm also going to do is I have cut a snowflake from the what's it called seasonal layers and it's the one uh, it was very very popular in the summer with the uh, deck chair there but um, you know it's called seasonal layers because it covers all seasons so at the moment we're seeing a lot of leaves well in this you've got your snowflakes they're absolutely beautiful they really are beautiful so this is the just cut out of whisper white I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue I'm going to stick that in the middle which then covers over all of those joins and that bare middle and then I have with the metal edged ribbon just made a little bow on my very cheap plastic bow maker the one with the little pegs you can make them on your fingers there's loads of YouTube videos um, I'm not in a po mental position to do bows on camera I can't cope <laughs> it goes too wrong and it takes me ages ok so I'm just going to stick that in the centre there and there we have a lovely handmade Christmas embellishment. Just fluff, fluff those doilies up so it's like a little winter flower. And there you go. I think that's really pretty. Quite shabby. Shabby chic. Christmas topper. Go in, give it a try. Have fun. Bye for now.